Good morning and welcome to the Catechism in Two Full Months. My name is Pastor Jay Lutz and I'll be taking you through today, day 20. Uh, we're going through the Book of Concord. Uh, this is the Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and this was written by Colbin Wangert. Um, so today we're going to be going through article number uh, 19 as we are on day 20 concerning the cause of sin. So each time I start with a Bible verse to start us off, and this time we're going to be going from 1 John chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who does not what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Here ends our reading. So what is the cause of sin? The devil. Um, if you want an interesting read, um, I would encourage you to read Ezekiel uh, chapter 28. Um, yes, it's titled The King of Tyre. And there's been much debates over whether it's talking about the king of Tyre or if it's talking about Satan. But I would say in the context of things, since it says that he walked in Eden in the garden, it's not talking about the king of Tyre as much as it's talking about how he is like the uh, like Satan. And, and he accuses him of, of things just as if he was like Satan. Um, so another interesting read. Anyways, but concerning the cause of sin... Uh, the reason I brought that up, uh, Ezekiel, is because uh, the father of all lies, the adversary of all things, the reason why Jesus came to this world was to uh, eliminate sin and to take the power away from Satan and to bring it back to God. So, what does the Augsburg Confession say about the concerning the cause of sin? Concerning the cause of sin, Article 19. Concerning the cause of sin, they teach that although God creates and preserves nature, nevertheless, the cause of sin is the will of those who are evil, that is, of the devil and the ungodly. Since it was not assisted by God, there will, their will turned away from God, as Christ says in John 8, 44. When the devil lies, he speaks according to his own nature. Remember, God has God's own nature. And the devil has his own nature. And if you look in Ezekiel, uh, like I said, 28, it says that, that he was um, a cherubim, that he, that he was perfect like all the rest that were made, but then he rebelled. He rebelled against God. And as Jesus says in Luke, he says, I saw, I saw the uh, devil fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. So we know that um, what it says in Ezekiel, that he was thrown down to the earth, is true. Uh, Jesus admits it himself uh, in Luke. And so, yeah, so that is, that is what it happens concerning uh, the cause of sin. So, and what are the opponents of the reformers? Uh, how do they rebuttal this? Uh, well, they really don't. Uh, let's read together in article Number 19, the cause of sin in the Apology of the Augsburg Confession. Our opponents accept Article 19, in which we confess that although the one and only Son of God alone established all of nature and preserves all that exists, nevertheless, the cause of sin lies in the will of the devil and humankind that turns itself away from God according to the words of Christ about the devil in John 8:44. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature. So there isn't uh, much difference here between what the, uh, the reformers believed and what the opponents of the reformers believed, uh, which is good because at least we know what is the root, uh, the cause of sin, and that it is devil and his demons. And it said God prepared hell for the abyss, the lake of fire, for the devil and his demons not for humanity, but yet he also allowed free will. And so God allowed for humanity, for parts of humanity to, uh, to enter into hell if they do not want to be part of 
uh, God's greater plan and to dwell together in love and unity with each other. And so, unfortunately, um, God has to allow the will for people to choose what they will in order to give them true freedom. And so, let's, uh, let's thank God, though, that he is there to help protect us and preserve us um, and at any point in time uh, that we turn to him and we accept and believe him. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly God, we thank you. Uh, we confess today that we are, we are sinful and that we fall short of your nature, the goodness of all things. Uh, may our will not lie with the devil or other humankind that turn away from God, but that our will might lie with you, that, uh, that we do not speak according to the devil's nature, but your own, that we accept you, uh, that we put our faith and our hope and our trust in you, God. And that through that faith and hope that we might go into the world and spread your good news, your love to all the world, so that all might know um, that we have been redeemed and that we have been uh, carried away uh, from our sins uh, in your loving arms. Thank you so much for all you've given us and all that you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.